Hi. So since NEET 2022 is over now, and many of the those NEET aspirants who are scoring well enough in the NEET exam might be looking for their colleges of choice, right? So we'll be talking about AFMC today, right? So tentative possible cutoff, you can say. I'm sure everybody of you who might be looking for AFMC are uh, maybe aware that one of the best or you can say the premier most colleges, uh, those who are aspiring for MBBS or for other as well, right? So we'll be talking about AFMC MBBS cutoff, right, based on the trends and what can be the tentative or possible cutoff this year because uh, you know based on the paper right so there are a lot of things which you can talk about this neat paper that is 2022 everybody can have a different perception i will be sharing what i personally feel as a mentor uh, you know uh, based on the latest pattern right so when we talk about afmc of course the premium most mbbs colleges everybody aspires to it, right and of course you need to have a score pretty above 600 at any cost that is for damn sure right so only those look for AVMC who score 600 plus at least at any cost right so if you look upon uh, the seat distribution you know they have especially mentioned boys versus girls seat and of course the number of seats for the boys are a little bit more than the girl right so hence the cutoff for the boys and you know male and female category are quite different right if you talk about boys category for the last one right so for male category the cutoff was 615 out of 720 right not a bad score it's actually good right so you know those who make it to with this 615 620 are really good one right for female it was a little bit higher you can say at least four or five questions more or less right so 627 out of 720 a decent score right so for girls a little bit different right uh, you know and uh, after that you have other round like you know the uh, psychological test uh, interviews etc so post interview that that was of course 250 marks for the boys it was 159 approx and the girls it was 168.75 you can say that right so this was last year but what about 2022 what changed this time the first and foremost thing the change is that you know number of resources awareness among the candidates you have nowadays n number of resources available where you can practice practice and practice that actually has led to the score you know a huge score for the these aspirants as well Second, which I personally feel as being a physics mentor, is that the level of physics in the NEET exam, uh, those who have prepared seriously, and is, of course, any candidate who has scored 600 plus, is of course a serious candidate, a good candidate, a decent one. Of course, you can find it out that many of the questions were repeated at least in physics section, right? Straightforward, even the options were not changed. Since you belong to those scored 600 plus, that means you can see, you can observe a lot of questions repeating. You will surely tick that without solving as well, right? So easy physics question actually can lead to the fluctuation in the total cutoff. But since, as you said, many of the aspirants as well as the faculty mentioned that uh, bio and chemistry were a little bit bulky, non-traditional. Earlier it used to be a one-liner kind of thing, but this were a statement, uh, one statement toward a certain region, the logical and analytical questions, right? So that made many candidates a little bit, you know, uh, you can say that irritating kind of thing. But I personally feel any candidate who opt for AFMC, who try for AFMC, whose score is around 620 plus, uh, is a decent candidate and they, even this bio and chemistry section will be easy for those guys. Any candidate who has scored 500 or 400, I'm sure that they will feel this is a little bit tough. But yes, any candidate above 600, they have practiced enough. And I even I think that bio and chemistry were also easy for them. Because you belong to those, you know, you can say that the enlightened crowd who can solve any questions more or less, right? So approximately, I feel that the tentative cutoff this time for the boys and girls, and I, I just combined it, anything is scored above. 620 through to 626 is safe one right so this is what i say will be safe this is what i also convey to our students as well if you are scoring 623 plus you can feel safe and prepare for the second one that is psychological test as well as some kind of confidence builder personal interviews kind of right so this is about the afmc mbbs so this is particularly for afmc mbbs any question queries you can definitely share your comments below the video we'll try to respond as soon as possible Thank you. Good luck.